All right, so I went camping uh, up on a, uh, a an active volcano in uh, in Bali, and uh, I took this along with me. I bought this MRE just as a backup, uh, to, and also I was very curious about um, using one of these. Um, it's always something that I've, I've wondered about. Um, so this is a 24-hour ration pack, and um, it is uh, the menu number five uh, from the British MOD. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, and it's got um, everything you need in here. Um, it actually does say uh, this contains 4,000 calories. Um, so that's more than enough uh, calories for the day. That's actually double my calorie intake. So I'm going to I'm gonna um, use this as my food for the day today. So I'm going to leave off this for today. And um, 4,000 um, is a lot. So I don't know if I'll be able to go through it all. But I think a lot of the stuff in here... I don't know if I'll, I'll, well, I'll see. All right, so let's get all this unpacked and open. And uh, let's have a look exactly what's in here. Okay, so breakfast, let's get this all things. So this is the uh, fruity muesli with milk. Also, it contains the milk and everything else in there. So that's breakfast. Salted peanuts, 50 grams. I have to put that in there with my breakfast. Chocolate pudding and chocolate sauce. So this is dated. I, sh this is, I can still keep this for another year, actually. It's November, so that's chocolate pudding. Uh, energy drink and powder. Pineapple. Okay. Uh, this will be... Dinner, maybe. Sweet and sour chicken with rice. Uh, can be eaten hot or cold. Uh, best results of uh, boil. So I'm, now I'm not sure if this contains a heat pack. Um, I suppose if you can eat it cold, you, you won't need a heat pack. But I was assuming that there would be a heat pack for this. Uh, yeah, so this doesn't have a heat pack. Um, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, I should have looked at that um, closer when I bought so this is 300 grams um, storing ambient conditions one or once opened use immediately if pouch is damaged do not use so this is spaghetti bolognese so lunch dinner uh, all of it so protein bar cookies and cream is a bit wafery biscuits Brown biscuits, I think that says. Biscuits, I can't read what that says. Oh, there you go, yeah. Biscuits brown. Okay. Don't know what kind of brown biscuits there will be. So, this is grapefruit drinking powder. Okay. I think there was a number of uh, things. So another energy drink. This one is apple. So that's pineapple and apple. Yeah, there's some more here. I guess this is going to be the quite calorie high. This is a cola flavored powder drink. Uh, okay, so I guess that'll go there. Then I've got some sauces. So oh, this is cheddar cheese flavored spread. Okay. Are they maybe for the biscuits actually? And then you have all your other things as well for your coffee. I think that's got tea. I can see. It's actually quite a lot. This weighs a bit. I'll have to weigh it all. That's a big spoon. I suppose you need it for that. I actually have another spoon which uh, which is I might use instead. So that's the spoon. And then you have. Toilet paper, handy, you up a mountain. Sugar, so oh yeah, this one I won't be using because I don't have sugar. So, creamer, so you got creamer. Let's have a look, sugar, white sugar as well. Three, four, five, six, that's six sugars, that's a lot of sugar. And here is another drink, I think. Hot chocolate. Oh, this is hot chocolate. So, oh, I'll 
I had hot chocolate for a long time. So this is another creamer, creamer, creamer tea. Only one tea. Antibacterial wipe. Uh, no, that's another tea. Oh, it's two different types of tea. So I've got uh, Thai Fu, uh, which if you don't know from my, this is a quite a famous tea brand here in England. Uh, I grew up on this. And this is English breakfast tea. So I guess you can have this breakfast and that for your rest of the day. And I've got uh, coffee, coffee. So this is just standard coffee, roast coffee. And then I have strong mint, strong mint sugar-free gum oh it's actually gum not mint and there's two in here I can feel there's two I'm not a big gum guy and then this is chili sauce um why would I use this sweet and sour chili I guess with that one and this is water purification tablets again very handy when you're up a mountain. Uh, so this is another antibacterial wipe. Oh, more sugar. Damn. And then I think these are more of the tablets, purification tablets. Yeah, so that was, I think, not eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sugar touches with four grams each. Wow, that's a lot of sugar for the day. That's that's a lot of sugar for the day, definitely. But if you need energy, I guess that's it. I would have much rather have had an energy bar um, more than the sugar. So, okay, so I'm going to start off with the fruit muesli. How much? It's 100 grams. Uh, rolled oats, skim milk powder. So let me, so direction, add 100 milligrams liters of water mix well leave to stand for approximately one minute before consuming okay so i need a actually let's eat it out of this it doesn't say if you need hot water it just says mix with water so i'm going to eat it out of the bag so all right let me go and grab some water oh there's some matches as well i forgot to add that these are the weirdest matches that i've ever seen Right, so I decided to use uh, this because then I don't want it to sort of go everywhere if I make a, a mistake with the water. So let's get this open. And I've got my big spoon, so that'll help with that. So here we have the muesli. I guess I could put the water in there. Now this, it says 100 milliliters, which, which is only this much. Actually, I'll, I'll pour it straight into here. But then you've got to leave it to stand for a minute. Okay, that's all right. Okay, let's get 100 milliliters of water. So I'm using cold water, not hot. That's, that doesn't seem like a lot of water. You can smell the fruit. So I was going to leave this for a minute and then I will make a cup of tea with it as well. And the, I'll use the English breakfast tea, I think. All right, so it's been a minute or more and it's all sort of clumping together. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the peanuts, the salted peanuts in there, because normally I would have nuts in, that's 50 grams, that's quite a lot, I wouldn't have, normally I'd have about 10 grams of nuts in my breakfast, so it's quite similar to what I would normally eat for breakfast. That's probably about 10 grams. That's a lot of peanuts. So that, that's why it's so calorie dense. 
because uh, this is 53 grams uh, of fat per 100. So that's 20 something, 26 grams of fat in there. That's a lot. And a lot of carbs, oh, sorry, a lot of uh, energy in that. So I'm going to mix that in. I don't expect this to be any different to than any muesli you could buy from the supermarket. Oh, it is clumping up a lot. Considering this is just water. Alright, let's take a spoonful of, of this. Well, oh, very bland. Mm. Yeah, very, very bland at all. That's, that's, yeah. Ooh, that's so bland. That's unbelievably bland. I guess you could put the sugar in there if you wanted, but normally what I do with my breakfast, I'll put a scoop of uh, whey protein which kind of sweetens it up and gives it a different taste as well. But as I said, I'm just, just going to be eating this today. So I'm not going to add anything extra that I would normally have. So I'm just going to have my daily intake of food through this at all. So that's breakfast. Let me, the tea is just going to be English breakfast tea. I don't think that's going to be any special, but yeah, just English breakfast tea. It's not even that nice actually. Yeah. Not impressed with that so far, but then this is just as a back. This would have been just as a backup, but if I would, was going to eat this on top of the mountain, I would have had some whey protein with me as well, and I would have put a scoop of whey protein in there as well. So that's breakfast, so I'll get back to you with probably... I'm not sure if I'll have the chicken or the bolognese for lunch. Um, and then I've got the chocolate pudding. Yeah, so that's still a lot of food. Um, then I'll test the the energy drink. I don't think I'll be able to have all the energy drink. I think I'll just be able to have one of those and probably one of the uh, normal drinks because normally I have try and drink as much water as I can. So I'm, I might have that one and that one. Uh, the cheese as a snack with the biscuits. Um, the energy. So it's a lot. It is a lot of food for me. That's a lot. This is a lot of food to consume through the day. All right. So I'm going to finish off my breakfast and then get back to you later on. All right. So let's try this protein bar, cookies and cream flavor. Okay. Oh, it's not chocolate or anything. It's just like a wafer. Mm. Didn't really taste of cookies or cream. Just tastes more like. Um, uh, I remember when I was younger, we used to make cereal uh, bars out of a thing called Rice Krispies. It's basically a Rice Krispies bar with chocolate flavour. Hmm. That's not, I mean, what is it? It's only 40 grams. Do I have any protein bars here that I normally have? Let me just go and grab one of those. All right, so this is what I would normally have as a protein bar. So this is a uh, oats and whey protein. And this is uh, 88 grams, so it's double. It's, it's a lot heavier and a lot denser. But let's have a look at the nutritional value on these. So this, this one here is... 368 uh, calories. Uh, it's got uh, 11 grams or oh, uh, 11 grams of fat, um, 43 grams of carbs, and uh, protein. It's 22 grams of protein. Now compare that to. If they've got it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it is. Wow, this is 393 calories. It has 10 grams of fat and carbohydrates is 41 grams of carbs and protein, 36 grams of protein. Wow. Is that right? Wow. So that actually is a lot more than this. And this is a lot heavier. This is like, uh, I can see the point. Yep. Fair play. I get it. But it tastes horrible. This one tastes much nicer. But this one is has got a lot more calories. It's got a lot more protein, a lot more carbs. So again, best one if you're out.
Right, let's try one of the drinks. Uh, energy drink. So this is the grapefruit one. I guess this one is 91 grams of carbs. Wow. Um, so it's either the grapefruit powdered drink or you have the energy drink. All right, let's see. I think the energy drink, I need a bit of a energy boost, I think. So this one, corn syrup. I just spotted that, I said corn syrup. So this one is apple, pineapple. Um, okay, so um, let's try the apple. How much, why do I? Okay, so 500 milliliters of water. And this one is the apple. It's quite a lot, 45 grams. It's quite heavy. Everything. It actually does, I didn't smell the powder. I should have smelled the powder. Oh yeah. Wow, that's a strong smell of apple. That is a really strong smell of apple. That really does taste like apple juice. That, if I was given that, not knowing that it was uh, out of this packet, I would have thought that's just plain apple juice. That's, that's really nice, actually. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. That's probably one of the nicest drinks I've had, actually. Not just here, I mean, uh, a powdered one, but wow, that's, that's I'm impressed. Very impressed with that one. That's really nice. I wish I could buy that uh, just by itself. Okay, so I'm gonna have this, and then I'll try the pineapple one later. All right, so I think I'll try the cola flavor. Yeah, it's quite. Oh, I actually just smell like Coke. Tastes like Coke, but less sugar. Not as sweet as Coca-Cola. Mm, I think the, um, the apple is definitely better. This does taste like Coke. It's more, yeah, just like Coke, um, but without much sugar, uh, sweetness or sugar in there. So yeah, I prefer the apple. The apple was much nicer. So the, I'll try the grapefruit one later, or I might have another energy drink. I'll see how I go. All right, so let's try the hot chocolate drink. And it's just powdered chocolate. There we go, and it's dissolved. I thought it would be really clumpy. It's still a little bit hot. I'm gonna give it a second or so to cool, or a little bit to cool down. But in the meantime, let's get these biscuits open. Chocolate, uh, no, these are bis brown, just says brown biscuits. Let's get this open. When it says brown biscuits, I thought perhaps it's like bourbons. Oh, they are like crackers. That's okay. Yeah, they're just like crackers, brown biscuits. So I was, oh, but some of them are broken. So that's what they look like. They're very heavy. So let's try it without the cheese. Oh, they're breaking. Quite easy, just fall apart. Let's, okay, let's try a little bit. Okay, let's try this much first without anything on top. That is like very dry, but actually quite nice. It reminds me of um, a digestive biscuit, which we have here in England. Sort of a heavier digestive biscuit. All right, let's try it with this cheese spread. Oh, it's, wow, that's a very bright yellow. All right, let's get some on here. That's enough, I think. Does it? it yeah, so it's cheddar cheese. Oh, it just breaks so easy. Let's put that aside. Okay, so let's have a taste of this. Mm, much better with the cheese. It's actually quite nice. Mm. 
let's have some hot chocolate now so that's right it actually all dissolved really well so i hope it's not too chocolatey yeah it's just hot it's just hot chocolate There's nothing special about it it's quite nice but hmm that's very nice very warm you can actually as it's going down you actually feel you can feel the heat going down your stomach so that's 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 very nice i think with the biscuits they're really nice uh, i'm gonna make up another one of these drinks there we have it's just a white powder there's no no color to it let's see what it tastes like mm. very sour taste to it I mind you, it is a grapefruit, so better than the cola. The grapefruit isn't better than the cola, but still, the energy drink, the apple was still the best. I'm not going to call that once because that's a lot of all ones. Then I'm going to have the rest of the biscuits, finish off my hot chocolate. All right, so I'm going to have the pasta bolognese next. And uh, so let's put this sweet and sour. I'll have that later on. And then I might actually also have the chocolate pudding uh, as well with this uh, so that's next so in order to make this you can have it hot or cold can be eaten hot or cold for best results place in boiling water all right so I've taken it out after eight minutes and it's cooled quite quickly couldn't I could barely uh, touch it before let's get this open it's a bit harder once it fingers are wet. We can smell it straight away. There we have it. Oh, doesn't look very appetizing, does it? All right, let's try. Try it. Let's get a bit of both. It's not focusing properly. It's still really hot. So, oh, well, that's quite nice. That's actually not too bad at all. I don't know why if I thought that all this stuff's gonna be tasting horrible, but that's quite nice. Pasta's quite well done. The sauce is really nice. It's not um, overpowering. And surprisingly, it's cooling a lot quicker. I think even though there's steam coming off there, all the meat sort of mushed up and sort of di uh, diluted in there. I think with the sweet and sour chicken and rice, I might try that cold. So try one thing hot and try the other thing cold. All right, so let's try this uh, chocolate pudding with sauce, um, just because um, the chocolate pudding, which is hot, I don't know, seems a bit odd. I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to eat this. Oh my god, just like a massive chocolate bar. Oh, very small, strong smell of chocolate. Very, very strong. Ooh, that doesn't look very appetizing at all, does it? All right, I'm just going to take a chunk of this. Oh, oh that's horrible. It is very jelly-like, very dry. So it's this side bit here is all very soft and jelly-like. And then the inside is all, it's kind of hard, but very dry. That's terribly dry. That's absolutely terrible. I don't think I'm going to finish that at all. That's, that's enough for me. That's not nice at all. I was hoping that that would be really nice. Okay, so I have heated up the sweet and sour chicken with rice and it is piping hot. So let's get this open. All right, so there's a closer look. I think that must be a piece of chicken. Is it potato? Sweet and sour chicken with rice so it doesn't say anything about potatoes if that's the chicken that's a lot of chicken because if you compare that if you buy stuff from like the supermarkets and stuff you'll get like that one piece of chicken in the whole thing so there's not a lot of rice a lot of sauce and a lot of chicken all right so i've let it cool down a bit it actually surprisingly cools down really quickly i'm sure that's a bit of potato so i think it's got some sort of vegetables yeah i can sort of see looks like um sweet corn baby sweet corn all right so let's try some of this it's still very i'm just going to try the chicken and see what it's like well that's very sweet chicken is quite quite dry actually it's sweet at the top but 
and it's quite moist but when you start digging into it it is um yeah it is very dry where's that bit of potato I think that's a bit of potato that's quite sweet so I think I will put the red chili sauce in oh it seems to be quite a big just a chunk I should have probably done that before it got too cold let's see if I can mix it I think that's as well as I'm gonna be able to get it mixed in so let's try another piece of chicken with a little bit more rice I think the rice you can hardly taste because there's not that much rice in there but it's still very sweet the chili sauce doesn't really give much of a kick to it but that's not bad definitely the pasta uh, was the best out of out of it all and that um uh chocolate thing i had earlier I, oh, that was it i just took that two those two bites and that was it yeah it's been interesting um living off this for the day um yeah i, I honestly i quite enjoyed uh, tasting all these different types of food and it doesn't actually stop there because I've also got this one. This is uh, a French uh, ration pack. So I'm going to try that uh, next time. Um, this one could be nicer. And if you look at this one, this is actually packed a lot better than the English one. And it's, it's probably just as heavy. But yeah, I'll be interested to see uh, what this is like. That's going to be more interesting. So I didn't have all the sugar and all the other things with this one. Um, as you can see, they're all here. I think majority of uh, the calories in this was basically sugar and, and it was quite sweet but a very enjoyable uh, day to to try all this different type of food and uh, stay tuned for the French Russian uh, MRE coming soon.